This disaster save features a world war spanning every single continent, with the US being the only bastion against the common turn, featuring the Ottoman Sultanate and a Japanese Shogunate, as well as an encirclement where we killed 2 million people. It's 1948, we have 0% war support, early mo. We also have a few decisions that we can just ignore. It's just a waste of PP. I thought about pushing the Soviets out as soon as possible, because they're already here in Canada and they are also down here in Mexico. If we could lose a single single tile. We could just fix the war support problem and we would get war econ, but we would have to give up Mexico, which I'm not too keen on, or Canada, which I'm also not too keen on. That's one thing that's extremely scuffed about this disaster save. The Soviets have pretty much all of Eurasia. Africa was completely lost. This is gonna be a lot of work. We don't need martial law. Just go for local police force. Nine motorized infantry as a cavalry division. Okay, um, let us create a proper cavalry division then. Hold the boys and then turn those into 15 width. And we don't really need the logistics. Let's just train 5 billion of those. Even made a freedom template, which that's a tank template. Not gonna get anywhere with this, but it's a tank template. We don't need level 10 forts over here. Also, you don't need forts in the Alps. That's actually useful. That's not. The air bases are useful. We also need to build radars. There's six fronts right now that we need to get under control. Carrier fighters are useless. Carrier cast is useless. Again, uh, no DLC, so uh, I'm just gonna press buttons here. And let's get a few air bases going here as well. Thank you up. Scout planes! <laughs> Yeah, let's get smoke generators. <laughs> I don't think I'll have to use my navy that much, but smoke generators are more useful than scout planes. <laughs> An airbase down here. Mm, let's go for two. Let's just get 1k fighters. Light bombardment group. Just call it CAS. Jesus. But I also want to defend Italy. We can just do this like this. Then we can take a look at the general. Oh, infantry expert. Yes. Yes. More infantry experts. Come on. You've not researched the S-pills yet. Let's do the gamble, I guess. That should work. Can we get follow-up government on China? Oh my god, I'm democratic. Now Colombia is gone. And let's dump 1k CAS for Spain here. I don't want the CAS here, I want more planes. Uh, it should help with the numbers here. Not a ton. But I have to work with what I got with the base planes. It's gonna be very complicated now. We still have Patton, just unused sitting in a bank. Okay, wait, let's keep one stack in Burma, one stack in Canada, two stacks in Mexico. Sack South America for now. Just those two tiles? Did I lose anything else? Hawaii? No, I still have it. Okay, Homeland Defense Emergency Act. <laughs> war Econ and 80% war support. Yes, 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 yes. I'm also gonna do the armed forces desegregation. Fuck, they have to they have the airbase now that I built. Why are you attacking? Please, guys. I want to win this war. Oh my god. What? Just push through here. Okay, keep them pinned. Keep them pinned, please. Yes, push me. I would like to have this airbase. Thank you very much. Yes, we have the airbase. That makes things much easier because I'm just gonna shuffle these guys around here. Oh, yes. And you do a naval invasion. Wait, we could get the Mexico war plan, right? Silver. Oh, no, it's Italy. Uh, green. I guess 10% attack and defense against Mexico, which uh, there's not a single Mexican division here, but you know, I guess it's an option. Nice, we got a bunch of French divisions, which I'm just gonna assign here. You can do something like this. God, this cast is so sad. This is cast free without a designer. Just doesn't do any damage. Infrastructure of Alaska. Uh, guys, we have other things to worry about right now. We are losing the battle, the battle, but we're killing so many Polish. Yeah, we just got them. Yes, we freed Canada. Let's get 1,000 fighters more in here to defend France. Can I build a supply hub? Oh, yes, I can build a supply hub up here. I'm not sure this is gonna go too well, but we do have a bunch of cast in here. Well, it's probably gonna be an expensive push in manpower. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> that was like 100k that we just lost from that push. We kind of have to take some of these losses if I don't want to sit here for the next five days. Ace pilots. <laughs> Wait just a minute. I can just get Catalonia myself and then we can build radar stations. Okay, we have 60,000 trucks, but I guess we could get mechanized. It's just done um, 10 on mechanized, I guess. There we go. Rest on, just on tanks. Let's make a super expensive tank battalion. 
I think I'm fine with that. Whew. If we can keep our cast safe, it actually deals damage. Yeah, there we go. Keep on going, keep on going, guys. I kind of wanted to pin, but I guess we're pushing through. <laughs> <laughs> the Japanese are just sacrificing their troops down here, man. A level one, five skill. I guess I can't level foreign generals. That's why they are level one. I Unga, therefore I Unga. Yes. Oh shit. I guess we can try out the tanks. Why did France get this? No, oh, whatever. I built my radar stations here. That's what matters. And then keys. You can get over to Europe, I think. Actually, no. Let's kick out Mexico. We can go risky here. There we go. Let's make it fun. Yeah, I have to use my infantry here. Because of mountains, Argentina joined. Oh, hi, I don't want to meet you in an alleyway. Okay. That from the stable. Let's get the tanks over to Florida then. Soviets, what are your man... Oh, zero manpower. Oh, yes, 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 yes. That was put... Potentially 1 million? It's hard to say with all of the battles going on. I think it's time for an actual offensive here. Okay, that's actual progress down here. First enemy country down. And it only took me three hours. Ooh, that's a lot of divisions here as well. Let's send you down here, I guess. Next order. I'm gonna try with the tanks, I guess. Okay, I'm also gonna give you cheat attack. Nice. Let's get into Egypt. Get the Suez going. Bring a little bit of freedom to Africa. You know what? Let's get 2,000 additional fighters. And I'm even gonna do more crown crews. I'm gonna see if we can put a little dent into the Soviet war machine. That used to be 10k fighters, so we have made some difference at least. Oh, fuck off. I hate this game. Oh, fuck the Soviets are false taken Italy. <laughs> I hate this game. Uh, let's do this differently then. At least the uh, fighters that are in this air zone are getting fewer and fewer, so they're not really reinforcing here. Jesus. I just saw this bit, not all of Canada, and I thought that was the Soviets or something. If that happened, I would just clock in for the night. Yes, you have Panzer Expert. Let's just right click like normal. Just have to make sure that these tanks are not getting encircled. These are the hopes and dreams of the free world. Wait a Wait, what? Japan and the Soviets are in faction? Why can't I draw front line? <laughs> Just the Is there a supply hub anywhere? Dortmund. Okay. Let's try and get Dortmund then. Jesus, there's so many divisions out here. I don't have a front anymore, but I still have the arrow. <laughs> we know where we we're attacking. <laughs> But not from where? We could go for more, but I'm just gonna encircle these guys. That's another 10 divisions that will be out of the game. This used to be 1k to 2k, so we have been taking out a bunch of divisions already. Oh god, first crash of the day? Yes, the first crash of the day. <laughs> I'm just gonna hope that this is not gonna continue like this. <laughs> so many divisions. I just need to land a single division here. And they, I mean, I guess they still have the port. Considering the supply situation, I we can probably push through here. Which also supply situation. Oh, I love fighting in North Africa. Oh, Africa in general. Yes! Oh, thank you. 370k division uh, manpower. Now pushing is so easy. <laughs> it's 150 divisions. Invade those two tiles. Oh, did we have an amphibious guy? Uh, naval liaison. No, wait, what? Invade is the one. Let's go for Machado. Okay, can we draw a front line now? Thank you. I kind of want to go for a nuke encirclement, you know? Nuke, 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 and then just walk in with infantry. 27.8. <laughs> Those were at least two war crimes. That was two million men. Unless, you know, they started pushing in Mexico intensely and took one million damage there. Which I'm just gonna say is probably not what happened. Yes, we are taking Africa back. It's actually pathetic how little they are fighting here. This also means we are gonna start sniffing Abdul Midj the second soon. Oi! Thought I didn't see that, huh? As for the rest here, I'm just gonna do this and nuke twice here. I can't be asked anymore. Oh, fuck. What happened here? I'm gonna try and get Machado over here. Because that guy would never let me down. Oh, Liberia. I almost assumed you would join me once I get down here. All right, it's time for some RSI. I'm not sure how the Germans will feel about this. That was 1.5 million. 
Plus now we can push. Oh, the Soviets did not like that at all. Immediately brought back 3,000 planes here. I think an ace pilot has been promoted. Just one though. This is so scuffed, this front line. <laughs> The Soviets are down to 300 divisions. I'm gonna send some tanks up here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna nuke and my allies can deal with the rest. Oh, attack, please. End this. How do the Soviets still have manpower? Oh, they only have 1.5 million deployed manpower anymore. Poland is out. German interest in Scandinavia? No, please don't make more enemies. Ooh, manpower. There is one danger. The Soviets can get their conscription law up soon if we continue pushing, since they will have a surrender progress. So instead, I'm gonna try and push around them. <laughs> I almost have more divisions than the entire common turn at this point. And they have the Soviets, China and Japan. Oh, thank God I left divisions here. I swear Japan, you're gonna make me go bald at some point. Ooh, the allies are also retaking the islands. They are taking Anatolia as well. Right, nuke time. All in, boys. Let's take out Romania, please. Got another encirclement here. Not that it really matters in Africa. Oh, fuck off. I need more divisions for Africa. Oh no, I need to invest in shipbuilding industry in Alaska. Fine. There we go. Congratulations. Finnish People's Republic is also gone. Oh, Germany. Nice. Romania is out. Oh, the Soviets are down to 140 divisions. Still haven't researched radar stations. Yay. I love the AI. And circle maps. We are getting to a point where I have more divisions than the entire AI faction. And they still have a fuck ton of land. You know, like a bunch of them are just stuck on garrison orders and all that. Or in stupid invasions like this one. Jesus, the fight for Africa is just a mess. Oh, they finally went up to all other stuff, so... Nice reminder that I should start pushing, but it's also like the weird counter invasion that they made here. Yeah, this is just a mess. <laughs> why, why is there a pocket here? The entire Africa core is encircled now. I'm just gonna rush for it. I'm gonna mech off it down. You are gonna deal with this pocket. We have to push because the Soviets, they are getting manpower now. Unless I want a complete reset, we have to make it count now. <laughs> they have retaken Mexico again and I didn't get a notification. Yippee wahoo. What is this? Just look at Europe right now, man. It's just not fun to be there. Time to take out Germany again, which I guess is the third time for... Ah, uh, probably not for you, Truman, but for MacArthur. Oh, fuck off! How often I... <laughs> Why did you navally invade here again? <laughs> Oh, the fact that I don't have some collaboration governments, man. 3% on the Soviets. That's it. Never again. 